Hartswell, Maine is a quiet seaside village adorned with saltwater farms and inlets. At the very tip of this long peninsula sits Dolphins Marina, and on the other side of Dolphins Marina, under the sea, sits a ledge where some of the finest scallops in Maine are harvested. At sunrise, on a beautiful sunny February morning, Alex Todd and his crew welcomed Vine Time TV on their scallop boat, the Jacob and Joshua. Alex showed us how he harvests scallops. On Mondays, Alex trolls for scallops in Harpswell, Maine. Alex Todd has had a fishing lesson since he was five years old. At the age of five, Alex's great-grandfather died. And with the death of Alex's great-grandfather, Alex was given his fishing license, making Alex the 10th generation lobsterman from Chibuk Island. At the age of 18, Alex started trawling for scallops. Alex's son, Joshua, who fishes with him, will be an 11th generation fisherman. We could not have found finer people to introduce us to scalloping in Maine than the Tars. In Maine, we have some of the finest scallops in the world. And while some commercial scallops are sprayed with preservatives to keep them for longer, the Todds do not do this. The Todds harvest scallops and sell them to companies such as Downey Stay Boat Scallops, who sell scallops directly from the boat to the consumer. The Roma Cafe on Congress Street in Portland has been an institution in Portland since 1925. At this time, this lovely home was converted into a dining room that still exists today. It's now under new ownership of Michael Frazier, who has hired chef Paul Archibald to run the kitchen. And they have revived the stunning dining room in Portland's West End. On a fine Saturday in February, we tasted our scallops with chef Paul in a sampling of wine that I selected. We have two types of sake, which are gonna taste with the raw scallops. And then beyond that, we're gonna do some traditional choices. The first of which will be a sparkling wine from Vouvray. It's a Chenin Blanc, 100% Chenin Blanc sparkling. Um, from the village of, uh, or the AOC of Vouvray, which is in the northern Loire. Then we're going to taste some Prosecco, which is made in Treviste. And then we're also going to taste a Pecorino from Abruzzo. This was recommended to me by John at Bow Street, and it was an excellent recommendation. It's a wine bow wine. Um, it has the perfect balance, and you'll see, but it has a perfect balance to go with the scallops, and it, um, it accentuates the flavors of the scallops mm. as you're consuming it. And then we, um, we have a nice American favorite, which is Fess Parker producing in Santa Barbara Co County. So I'll pour us some sake. We'll Great. start from there. So, there we are. A little bit of this. And I love these, uh, these tins. You know, I think that this type of packaging is the way of the future. This is called Bushido, and it represents a warrior code of honesty and loyalty. Um, you know, this is an 18% ABV. scallops. I love raw scallops. They're really amazing. I think that sake is a little underrated. That being said, I think that, you know, there's a little spittoon for you there. Um, you know, it's, it's interesting to have them, you know, raw, raw scallops, the type of thing that you would normally have um, in Japanese restaurants. Um, in mm -hmm. Portland, uh, do you serve raw scallops here or maybe a ceviche or something? No, I don't do raw scallops on the daily menu. I might do it as a spice, as a special. As a special when you get the scallops Oh, there's, in. yeah, honey pot has a crudos on the menu say, all the yeah. time. Honey yeah, so they're really doing we, fluke, they're doing tuna, and they're doing, They would yeah, do scallops. Scallop. Since we live in Maine and they're harvested here, that's why we're able to do that. But most Asian restaurants would have them. I know that honey pot does it, and I know that Jay's does raw scallops as well. This is a pecorino. So Pecorino is a grape that is grown in central Italy. It's actually named, uh, the, the word Pecorino comes from the term sheep in Italian, which is Pecorino, I believe. And um, they, the reason why they call the wine this is because the sheep like to eat the grapes oh. in this particular region of Abruzzo. So uh, this was a Pecorino, as I said, it was, mentioned, it was recommended to me. It's really That's vibrant. It's it? delightful. Yeah. It is, yeah, and it's got some. It's got a little bit of citrus fruit to it, so I think we could probably try it with the raw scallops as well as the cooked. It's dangerously sippable. Oh, it's delicious. We had some last night, and I was like, no, we can't drink it all. <laughs> and I think that this pairs very well with the raw scallop, but we'll try it with the cooked scallop in a minute. Mm. Let's get in here. Just 
delightful. We had dinner here over Christmas time, and it was really wonderful. I brought my bosses from uh, New Hampshire, and they really enjoyed it. Great. I would anyway have an amazing year. The thing I like the most about this wine is it brings out the flavor in the scallops no matter how you have them. So it sort of changes as the dish changes, but mm. it doesn't overpower the scallops, I guess is the best way to put it. So from there, we're going to move on to... Mind that. Yeah, absolutely. The Vouvray. And so Vouvray is an AOC, which is in the northern part of the Loire Valley. In this AOC, they grow primarily Chenin Blanc. There's another grape that's allowed to be grown there, but Chenin Blanc is pretty much the grape that they grow. Um, Chenin Blanc is, is a nice pairing for scallops. Um, I thought it would be really interesting to have a couple of sparklings to try mm. because a lot of people drink sparkling wine as a celebration, but they rarely have it with food, and it's nice to pair. And we all love champagne, but it's, you know, it's not always affordable. So mm -hmm. why not try something else from, from France that is affordable and it's still sparkling and it made in meth method champagne wine. So, and this is actually, this is three fermentations. That is amazing. All right, let's taste it with scallops. Oh, wow. It's really good. That's <laughs> really good. Uh, yeah. That's lovely. Really, really nice. That goes very, very well with it, I must say. These two for certain. You know, in Italy, they always have food with wine. It's, it's just tradition. Mm. They would never really have food without wine, or excuse me, wine without food, unless they were having a glass of Prosecco as an aperitif. So Prosecco is traditionally in Italian culture, always has an aperitif, but when you go to Veneto, it's had with every meal. Um, it's enjoyed everywhere because obviously that's the local grape and that's what they want to support and enjoy. And it's cost effective because yeah. it comes from there. Uh, Prosecco is produced, um, but with one grape, which is Galera, sometimes they blend other grapes, but it's traditionally mostly Galera, and they're all produced in the area north of Venice. So Venice is here, and if you drive north of Venice, you just see fields and fields of Galera. This is produced by a family called uh, Terra Serena, so they, they, they own quite a bit of land in and around Conegliano and Treviste, which is a little bit north of Conegliano, and then they have a factory in Conegliano where they produced Prosecco and a Charmant method, which is basically all tank. Now, compared to the, the Vouvray, it's a mm. little bit softer and a little sweeter. Um, it's not, the Vouvray is, is a little bit more dryness to it. But that being said, I still think it pairs really well with food. So the last hit, uh, wine that we're going to taste is called Best Parker. This is from the States. Uh, this is made in Santa Barbara County, so down south, and it's um, sold here in Maine. It's quite wonderful. It's very oaky, so it's an oaky example of a California Chardonnay, but we in America love California Chardonnay, so um, I think the Chardonnay is a really nice pairing for scallops. I think mm. that this would necessarily not go with the raw scallops, but it would go better with the cooked scallops. Mm. Um, and yeah. when we were tasting it last night, it complements the scallops, and it's a game changer in an entirely different way from any of these other wines because it, it, there's a lot of oak here. Mm -hmm. But that being said, it adds another layer to that it, it flavor. It does, yeah. It yep. makes it a little Absolutely. bit richer, I think, mm. when you taste the food with this. So let's taste this, and we'll have a little scallop snack. Especially this, um, the sauce mm. as well. Creamy, and then the oakiness cuts through exactly, it. Exactly, yep. exactly. They just go very well together. We really have the best scallops in the world. Scallops, yep. clams. We're blessed. With the best seafood in the world. It really is, concerned. yeah. Well, this is the selection. I hope that you like it. Did you? I loved it. Okay, yeah, good, good, great. Nice. Can't wait to do it again. <laughs> Cheers. Thanks for having us. Yeah, absolutely. Thank you very much. The marriage of food and wine is magical. We have had the joy of harvesting Maine scallops on the boat, shucking and tasting boat side, and bringing these scallops to a local Maine chef to pair with some delicious wines. Life is good. Many thanks to Alex Todd and the Roma Cafe for letting us dine and enjoy. This has been Vine Time TV with Melanie Bolduc.